In this problem, the top got cut off here in my screenshot, but it says that this table represents the concert tickets sold. So we can look at it in two parts. We have the days right here and the number of tickets. So on Thursday, 125 tickets were sold, and on Friday, 136 tickets were sold. What are they asking us to do? Well, they say write a number sentence that compares the number of tickets sold on Thursday with the number of tickets sold on Friday. Use, and then here's our inequality signs or an equality sign, in the number sentence. So a number sentence is some type of equation that relates two or more quantities, right? So here are two quantities or what? Well, they're 125 and 136. And I think we all know intuitively that 136 is more than 125. And the way we show that is with this symbol. And the key is to make sure it opens up towards the larger number. Often you hear this alligator analogy, but if you haven't heard it, I'll tell you. I put some teeth on the symbol. You can think of this as an animal or alligator opening its mouth, going for, right, is the eye or whatever, going for the larger amount. So if you can't remember which way to make the symbol face, <coughs> then remember it has to open up towards the larger number. We can write this in other ways, though. Um, for example, if you've written 136 first, right, the symbol would face this way. It's all about the, the opening of the symbol that tells you which number is larger. So these are both correct. Some incorrect examples would be like 125, like this. This is saying that 125 is bigger than 136. Or you could write, if you wrote 136, like this. This is also incorrect because, again, it's, it's trying to eat... 125, this animal thing symbol, which is just called in, uh, an inequality. And that inequality, right, needs to face the larger number. And the reason it's called an inequality is because, uh, as opposed to an, an equality or the equal sign, an inequality shows you that two quantities or values are not equal. And the equality shows you that, that, that they are equal. So in this case, these things are not equal. So we use inequalities. Now here it says the statement below describes the number of tickets sold on Saturday. Um, so we're going to use these three clues and they're going to say to us how many tickets were sold on Saturday. So it says that Saturday's ticket sales are less than 138. Right? That's what this is. We can read this as less than 138 because the way the symbol is facing. Okay, so whatever number it is, it's less than 138. Then it says Saturday's ticket sales were less than Friday's ticket sales. So this number is less than 138. So it could be 137, 136. But Friday, we sold 136. And here it says the, the ticket sales were less than that. So 138's out, 137. It can't be 136 because it has to be smaller than that. Um, it could be anything that's 135 or less, right? We can't sell 135.5 tickets. We don't sell half tickets here. Last, it says Saturday's ticket sales were bigger than, right? Because now it's now the symbols facing this side, 134. So what's the only number that's bigger than 134, right? But less than 136. Well, that's 135, and that's the answer. And if, and if we're struggling a little bit with that, you can think, well, here's 134, here's 135, here's 136. Numbers less than 136 have to go this way, right? 134, 133, but numbers greater than 134 have to go this way. And the only number that's in that, that area is 135, which is the answer. All right, hope that helped.